Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I have another project. I'm gonna be doing a DIY of uh, fixing this uh, back rear seat latch. Uh, I guess um, the CRV, it's a 2012 CRV, and uh, it's a pretty good car. It hasn't given me too many problems, you know, but it does have its wear and tear issues. Um, today, we're gonna be changing that uh, rear latch, as I said. I called the uh, dealer and uh, they said they could do it for the very low price of $300. Uh, when I did look it up on YouTube, it's literally three bolts you take out and uh, all the tools you're gonna need right here is a 12 millimeter socket and you're gonna need a screwdriver. And for that, they want $300. Last time I called for my rear back um, camera and the housing on it broke they wanted to charge me eight hundred dollars to replace the housing because they said they didn't sell the housing separately so they would have to sell me a new camera they wanted to charge me 800 bucks uh, i went on youtube um, i used my drill and a 10 cent screw and it's been holding up for the past five years so Ladies and gentlemen, you guys don't have to pay that much money. You just have to put a little elbow grease into it and you guys are gonna save a lot of money by doing this yourself. Uh, so this right here, this is the, uh, these are the parts that you're gonna need. Those are the part numbers right there. Lock rear seat on the right and on the left. And uh, that's the price that I got. I've seen it for a little bit cheaper, but I got a little bit uh, impatient and um, I ended up getting it from this place. So um, this is uh, the new part that I got. So right here, let me take this down. Here we go. And as you can see, the issue is right here where the lock gets stuck, like that little hook gets stuck onto this uh, latch. So you can just use a screwdriver to pry it off of it because I believe this side is stuck too. So there's a little uh, hook that goes in there. You kind of just dig your screwdriver in there and just pop it off. That's what I had to do to the other side. So I'm gonna come around this way. And literally I already got it started. I put the seat down and these just basically just pop off. To use a screwdriver. Let me use a screwdriver now. It's kind of hard to do it one handed, but let's see if we can do it. Because I already got it started. Alright, I'm going to have to use both hands on this, so. I'll uh, check back with you guys in just a second. All right, so I got that these two parts off. So what I'm gonna do is just put these in a Ziploc bag because I don't, I don't want to lose it. All right, now we're gonna take this off. Just be careful with the tabs that are underneath here. You don't want to break them off. And if you do, oh well, it's plastic. There we go. So just want to be careful you don't break these tabs here. All right, so now there's three screws to take this off. Let's see. And that's $100 that they charge. kind of already loosened them up, so. All right, I wanted to compare the parts. That's $200. And here's the other one. $200. 
that's three hundred dollars there's also a zipper back here you can unzip this if you want make it a little bit easier to work with and you just kind of slide this through now there's going to be a couple of wires up here these are kind of hooked up these are hooked up here just take a picture of it so you won't forget which ones you know the gray ones on top and the white ones at the bottom so you guys know and the piece that's broken it actually attaches to these little balls right here and of course that was made out of plastic so that's the part that broke all right i'm gonna go get the new part and we're gonna start with that all right guys this is a new part same exact thing all right so we'll start by attaching the gray wire on top pop pop and this one goes at the bottom go pop pop there we go and as you can see this little brass looking part that's where these come in that's where you put these in you kind of have to play with it a little bit to try to get them in there and so I won't mess up my hands I'm gonna use a screwdriver I'll be right back Bam, I'm back. All right, let's go ahead and try to push these in. Got to find a way to work them in. Actually, why don't we do this? Do it this way instead all right now that I can remember you can slide these in first it makes it a lot easier as you can tell so I kind of did that on purpose so you guys can see uh-huh at least that's what I'm telling you and then you go ahead and slide these in pop pop there we go so these are now in now you can slide this up and we'll put in the three bolts and we should be done So I avoided taking a trip to the dealer where I have to make an appointment, drop off the car, get a ride back, back home and then get another ride to pick up the car, which is annoying. All right, so you don't want to tighten all the, the you don't want to tighten the screws one by one. You want to just keep it nice and loose and We'll put in all the screws in, leave them a little bit loose, and then we'll tighten them one by one after that. Now, in the video, I'm gonna fast forward this part because nobody likes to spend time just watching people tighten screws, so. And there's the other one. Uh, maybe they charge 50 bucks to take the bolt off and then 50 bucks to put it back on. I'm not sure. But that's what it is. There you go. Nice and tight. Let's go. second there it is see and that's why you put them in a plastic bag I knew I put it in there all right we'll just go ahead and zip this up again and we'll put this piece back in put these in pop pop 
All right. It literally took me, what, about 15 minutes to change the part? Okay, we'll see how this works. All right. Now it locks. And let's see. There you go. Unlocks. There we go. All right, guys. go Just that. there we go all done all right so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped um, once again this is a 2012 CRV uh, they differ a little bit I've seen other videos uh, where they say it's like a 2012 but uh, the parts look a little bit different so you might have to use your imagination and uh, you know it might differ from from model to model that's that's pretty much it but if you liked it if you uh, found it helpful hit the like button subscribe i'll be doing more diys on just any little thing that i come up across all right guys thanks for watching